Hey there guys, this is the Truck Chronicle. So, just wanted to update you about our quarantine situation. We are still out on the road because hubby is a truck driver doing our essential duties, delivering essential products. And it's been like a mini vacation for me. I'm loving it. I get to spend all this time with my husband because he's gone a lot. And I get to see amazing parts of the country, like just amazing. Some of it's amazing because I wouldn't have believed I would have seen some of this shit. Some of it's amazing because it's just aesthetically beautiful. Um, in the meantime, I've been keeping my eye on um, all of the virus outbreak pandemonium and have been successfully pissing a few people off with my social media comments but it is what it is um i try to be fact-based but i am more than a smidge bit bitter about the whole thing that being said i'm still waiting on my country of destination to open up their borders our concern is whether we open up our borders today or next week or first of the month, it's still going to take about two months at least to get things grinding back to some type of mobility. Um, but I'm hoping that by June, latest July, we'll be able to pick up where we had, um, where we've been left off. Um, so that's that about the travel plan. So right now, my biggest concern is whether or not they're going to honor our existing visa if it goes beyond the 1st of July because our visas are due to expire um, the 1st of July. So if we're not physically in country by the 1st of July, then we have to get all new visas. Um, so we can actually wait till the 1st of July that day and it still be good for the duration um, of time for it expires um, right now we're just kind of waiting and seeing so that's that let's see um, there's an amazing woman um, not gonna call her name because I haven't gotten permission from her to kind of put her out there like that but there's an amazing woman oh you see these zits it's just terrible from the hormones it's just terrible like I don't even know. I'm about to become friends with Proactive or something. This is terrible. Anyway, um, she's an amazing woman. Back before um, I left going to India, I was having challenges trying to locate um, my hormones, you know, the estradiol and the progesterone, respectively. And we belong to some of the same TTC groups on Facebook. And she put it out there that, hey, you know, my cycle ended, yada, yada, and I've got all this extra medicine. Does anybody want it? Hello, me, this girl wants it. And so she was a godsend. She boxed it up and mailed it to me within two days. Had it not been for her mailing me that, I don't think I would have had the ability to start my cycle for this last go round because doctor wanted me to start my medications three and a half weeks before I arrived. And you know, in the States, if you don't have the right type of insurance and your doctors aren't going to write the scripts and you don't have hundreds and hundreds of dollars to just drop into the pharmaceutical industry's pockets, it can be almost impossible to get these um, hormones. So she was a godsend by sending that to me. It really helped me a great deal. That being said, she and I stayed in contact um, not as frequently as I would have liked initially, but subsequent of this sequestering that we're all in, um, we've become really, really fast friends and communicate pretty much every day. And so she's looking to get back in the saddle and she and her husband are going to try yet another round for their IVF. And so we're working out a group trip her hubby's a little pensive about flying so it took a little bit of convincing but since we slated it as a group effort we're we'll all be going together it worked out a little bit better for him so right now i'm helping them work on their visas and putting her in touch with the doctors and they're doing all of the necessary exchanges of information and i'm 
pretty hopeful and optimistic because for as long and as challenging as this journey has been for me, like I said, it's all about the sisterhood and I'm just grateful to be able to help someone make it a little bit easier, be a companion if necessary um, for someone who feels isolated. So that's big for me. And to make a really good friend out of the deal, good stuff. So let's see what else is there on the table. Um, that's about it. I'm just sitting around, hoping to ovulate naturally. I don't know what else I'm doing. Just nothing. Sleeping a lot, even though you can't tell by these bags. But um, they're actually getting a little lighter because I'm getting a little more sleep. Um, but I've had some horrible cramps lately. Like really bad cramps. Um, I don't know. We'll see how that works out. Um, let's see what else is going on. I think Baby's liking the fact that I'm in the truck with him all the time. I know I'm liking it. Um, hmm. I do miss my doggies. Got to get home and see my little fur people. Um, and I miss my garden. I'm hoping my son is watering it, making sure it's not dying of thirst. Um, and that's about it. I've decided to um, go back to vegetarian diet. Decided to go back to a clean, healthy, vegetarian dietary intake. And that's partially to maintain my BMI and hopefully get it a little lower. And because overall health-wise, I feel better when I'm not polluting my system with um, processed meats and, 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 and processed sugars. And I'm not a purist by any means. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to be out here preaching to y'all about eat raw, don't eat sugar, yada, yada, yada. Don't drink a soda, don't eat a steak. But for me, I'm going back on a vegetarian-based plant-based diet for my own health sake see how that works for the next 12 months yes 12 months see how that works um what else mm, i think that's it nothing really major going on just waiting for the world to open back up from this maintenance process that it's going through um easter was pretty unremarkable we were home we hung out. I didn't make anything too spectacularly different, but we were there. We were together. It was quiet. It was relaxing. It's what we needed. I hope you guys' Easter was just as nice and just as, as full of love because that's what it's all about. Let's see. My birthday came and went. Same day as my anniversary, it came and went. And that was pretty cool um, with my baby. And then hubby bought me patio furniture yay me all sorts of patio furniture um and fire pit and a bench for my garden so he just like absolutely spoiled me to death i i'm still grinning sad part is we had one night to sit on it the first night we got it together we sat outside enjoyed ourselves and then the next day the temperature dropped to like what the hell is going on? Like it's fall and winter outside again. We couldn't even sit outside. Then it started raining. Like <laughs> it's, it was terrible, but it's pretty and I can't wait to get home so I can go right back out there and sit on it again and use it. And I've ordered pillows for it and I'm looking so forward to that. So I'm gonna get him a, a grill and let him be the grill master. Um, Let's see what else is going on. My mom is, um, sequestering herself at my sister's house. She's been there for a month. She had bronchitis for a bit um, early on in this whole American pandemic environment, but she's good. Um, everybody's good. I'm just waiting to do IVF so I can have a baby. Is anybody else already picking out baby stuff? Like, I am all for picking out my diaper service already. I got my cloth diaper service lined up. I got my bamboo disposable biodegradable zero footprint diapers lined up. I've got my nursing system lined up. <laughs> I got the bottles, the bags. I got everything lined up except the cribs, the strollers, and the high chair. 
got it all lined up. I even know what kind of stroller I want, but I'm just going to wait. But is anybody else doing that or is it just me? I'm doing that. I'm not doing a registry because unfortunately in our age demographic, everybody that we know has already had their children and they aren't even, even in the same stratosphere of interest where this is concerned. So I have to do it myself. So I've already got the theme for the nursery picked out. I think y'all already know. Yes, it's Baby Yoda. It's a thing. I mean, the whole nursery gonna be green. Green. Um, so is anybody else doing that or is it just me? Please don't tell me it's just me. Because I want everything lined up. So when I finally get that BFP that sticks, operative word sticks, I don't really have to start from ground zero. I'm hitting the ground running now. So by the time I get the BFP, I got traction. And all I got to do is press send order, send order, send order. Is anybody else doing that or is it just me? Don't tell me it's just me. <laughs> okay, so I think that's about it. Um, yeah, nothing else really to talk about. I want to keep this under 15 minutes so you guys won't get interrupted with like commercials. Um, all right, so that's about it. If you have any comments, thoughts, suggestions, well wishes, criticisms, put them all down there at the bottom message me i love hearing from you guys i love responding to you guys um and i wish you guys baby dust and joy and peace and health in this insane environment that we're living in right now and it will pass it will pass i feel it's gonna pass in the next week or so so just stand fast and know that i love you from my heart to yours big hugs love you love me bye